Hello guys, um, Andrew here. Uh, today we're going to be doing a review of the Kumbulwagen radio car. It's a Cyber Hobby White Box 135th. Looks to be their 15th issue. Uh, this is a Rebox by Bago. Never actually heard of that company. But once you open the box, it's clear that it is a Rebox because the styrene is a darker gray. So this is going to be a dungle growl vehicle. Three frets. The that one's mainly the holder for the radio itself, like the bracket the radio is in. Those are for jerry cans, cartograph decals, and looks like some clamps on there. I don't know what those big pieces are. I flip it over. Just like kind of showing off the bracket. That's the bracket I'm talking about. And that's it fully built up. That scares me because that's not one piece. It's like three or four pieces. And I'm really not good at gluing photo etch to photo etch. I don't know if that makes, well that makes sense, but it's just like not very fun. And full radio. And then machine metal parts for the antenna. And then a bonus driver figure. There are two figures in this box itself, but I never got that. I would just give you two figures and say, well, you can only use one. A uh, little note saying, thank you for choosing Cyber Hobby. So that's what the box looks like. Let's get into it. So, hardly any blue parts here. Once again, it's just like an extra figure that's blue. It doesn't make any sense, because everyone's going to just use that. Hmm. But the only parts that are blue is there's two radio sprues. And I guess half the... Well, obviously, you won't use two. There's probably some other parts on the radio sprues that are required to make one. Uh, a couple of the clear parts right here not used. Yeah, and then it's free jerry cans. I don't know why they say you can't use those. I mean, there's enough PE for three of them. I have a couple of those jerry cans now. They're nice. Oops. Just the construction of them is nice. Okay, so there's your figure all built up. Then the chair. Then right and that's what I'm talking about, the little photo etch piece that goes in between the two jerry can parts. And it looks like the beginning of the, the floor of the car. Looks like the dashboard there. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. To be honest, that part kind of reminds me of a rifle bag. I know it's not, it's probably a transmission cover. Or not the transmission cover, the, the shaft that goes down the car. My dad owns a transmission company and I can't think of what it's called. Um, whatever, it's not going to come to me. Uh, So, the assembly looks like we're putting on the parts that hold the wheels, the suspension, exhausts. Ugh, multi part sides. Oh, never mind, never mind. That looked like you were putting that part to that part, but actually, that's just the other half. engine actually looks relatively okay. It's your build up there. Then it's your finished product right there. Uh, sawing off part of the seat to fit the radios. That looks like it's going to be a big pain. Hoping that seat's multi-piece. It does not look to be multi-piece. It's 
weird because there's no step telling you to assemble that chair and there's no oh I guess it's molded to this back piece instead of two parts so that looks like it's gonna be a huge pain to just saw that part off um on. And the steering wheel, some photo etch there. There's your dash, that would appear. Yeah, certainly your dash. Then putting on the wheels. Some more photo etch there. More hack and slash. This does not look fun. Look at just, I hate those. Photo etch pieces that are long and you have to bend in half. There's one in a uh, Nazarn kit I'm building right now and it was absolute pain to just bend that piece. You have to put like an exacto blade at the crease or uh, tweezers. There's the assembly of your radio. That multi-part photo etch, like that's way too much photo etch in one place. All of that's MB, which is the screw number for photo etch. And here's your last couple steps of assembly. So windshield. Um, my only issue with that is masking it off with two little photo etch windshield wipers, but I guess you, you'd put the tape on there and then apply those two parts. That's weird. It kind of resembles the jack. It doesn't... I mean, that's the only thing I can think of that looks like that. But it's full-on photo etch. Uh, no tech light right there. Putting on a shovel. Spare tire. Either the canvas top or the, the canvas top folded. The option of windows. Yeah, the option of windows. I don't think you have to put those on. And then painting and marking side. So unidentified unit. It's just one option here. Minimal decals. Actually, I take that back. License plate, and then there's kind of cluster of them right there. Otherwise, it's just like tiny little markings above the rim, uh, the mud guards. And that's it. So, onto the card. And I'm not going to remove these from the card, but just get a good view of cartograph decals there. They look good as always. Those are those metal parts. The antenna looks to be like a little kind of like uh, it's like the the dragon conduits for the old kits this is an old kit i forgot to mention that it was produced in 2007 small little fret there it's the size of my thumb so it's very small fret um the parts for the jerry cans and looks to be part of the bracket for the radio. And then there's the full on contraption to hold the radio on. Photo it seems regular dragons that ooh that part I just bet, all, all the outside feels nice but then I just bent that part that's very thick. Has almost no give. For some. So the first thing I want to point out, I'm on my secondary modeling table here, so I'll just try to find something that is molded in the regular drag plastic color. Uh, I 
show this is regular dragon plastic color the wing on the bottom there and this is a this is the new kit see it seems like here maybe it's just my eyes some of these look like they're different shades but see I think it's all molded in one color but you can tell like that's a dragon sprue marking as opposed to this one which is clearly labeled that Bago company personally never heard of them um, if anyone knows anything about them please put it down in the description so let's just look at the past uh, plastic here so first brew this looks like the bottom so sit like that so this top this the bottom now one of these fell off the sprue it's just a mud guard uh, looks to be the bottom like the, the floor rather that's the bottom that's the floor it's transmission all molded on that's a huge piece to be molded on but it looks really crisp And then there's the chair you'll have to hack and slash about that far off of it. Luckily it's very thin, so it shouldn't be too hard. Here's this piece. The screw rather. Sorry about that, my mom's trying to print something. That's the engine sprue. There are the jerry cans. Nice as always. Here's the radio sprue. Looks nice, will look nice with all the, the black and white. And all the parts are really nice and crisp on there. Now this, I'm certain that this is a dragon sprue. Actually, might not be because those figures look pretty bad. I can zoom in on those. Anyway, it's not going to zoom in, but tire pattern looks really nice on these. This would obviously be the spare wheel. So here's the canvas top. Has the nice creases, and there's a window in the back there. And this is as if you rolled up the canvas. Honestly, you could probably use this as a tarp, which would look very nice. And if you just built it with the canvas on. So those look like lights. Well, they don't look like they are lights. There's the steering wheel. There's your no tech light. Uh, there. Um. That, I just built a Ketten Crod that actually looks like a Ketten Crod piece. There's your shovel, looks pretty... I mean, it doesn't look really that good compared to what we've seen from Dragon. There are your exhausts, one mold in one piece. And there are the two chairs. These are like the little flags that hang. I don't know if these would actually be that straight or if they're like, are they plastic on the real combo wagon or are they, they cloth? Cause that doesn't look anything like 
cloth. So if they were actually cloth, it wouldn't look realistic as if it was waving. Uh, that looks like parts of the floor, to be honest. Just another radio sprue. And then, only thing left down here is the clear plastic parts. And this is the one fender that fell off. Don't know why I've been calling them mud guards this whole time. So this fell off. That's weird because it has molded on windshield wipers, but they want you to put them on. Um, as you can see, there's something for you to mask off there. There's like a line that you can go out with a toothpick, push the tape into that line so that it's more clear what to cut. That's cool. Those are the two things. Sorry for that cut there. Uh, those are the two things you don't use, which are two wine bottles. All of it looks nice except for the little bubbles in the middle, but I think that's inevitable with clear plastic. There's your rear window for the back of the tarp. There's a, uh, there, there. Those are your side windows. So, thank you for watching my first video. And I will get on a little posting schedule here. Thanks. Bye.